So after you guys have opened up the project for day three, you're going to get to the slides. And then you're, of course, going to enter in the six things that you wrote about where you see yourself in eight years. So here I have already written all six of my things. And so now we're going to go ahead and go over to the wordart.com website. So you just open up a new link and you open up WordArt. Now, when you get to the website's landing page here, you don't need to hit join or sign up. You just need to go to create now. So now that you're going to create now, you're going to notice over here on the left hand side, there is a place to enter words. And you can see the three words that are already there entered for you. And then right below there where I'm clicking is the place to enter new words. Now you don't actually need to type any of these new words in there. You can just copy paste from the slide that you already wrote them in. So here I am copying my first one in there and I'm going to click add. I'm going to go back to my slide and drag my other one from number two in there as well. And all I have to do is click add and it creates a new word. So I'm just going to go back and forth and do this for all six of them. So now that I have all six of my things in here, I'm going to start removing the top three words that were automatically populated into the word bank over there. You're going to want to make sure that you have your other six things entered into the word bank before uh, you go ahead and remove all of the, the three that were in there already. Uh, if you try to remove all of them and then try adding words into your word bank, sometimes uh, it doesn't let you add words. So make sure you get your six in there. And then once you have your six in there, feel free to remove the other three words. So now I've got all of my phrases in there that I want, and we're just going to hit visualize right now and just see what it does off the bat without making any changes. So there you see, I've got a pretty good uh, word art picture going. I don't really like the colors. I don't really know what the shape is, but just from the, from the start of it, without even doing anything, just entering the words, I've already got a, a word art. But now we're going to go ahead and overlook here on the left and see what some of the changes that we can make are to make it more my own style. So if you're going to see over here on the left-hand side, there are literally thousands of different images that you can choose as your base image. Here, I'm going to choose a dragon. Just click Visualize. And automatically, it's going to populate all of my words into the shape of a dragon. But you don't have to stop there. You can go ahead and take a look and experiment and look at all of the different images that they have and just how to choose from them. You've got babies over here. You've got holidays, beach, emoji faces, anything really that you kind of feel creative or you know, led to do. Halloween, money symbols. I like the music symbols over here, the headphones and the music notes and the record. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna actually, now that I see these numbers, you know what? I'm gonna go with the number eight. I like that idea. I've got six things for where I see myself in eight years. So I'm gonna stick with the number eight. All I have to do is click on the image of the eight and it automatically visualizes it and puts it into that shape. So now that I've found a shape that I like, Let's go ahead and try to fix, I don't know, maybe the font here. I'm not really a big fan of this kind of a font. So after I've gone through shape, the very next bottom preference underneath you can change is the font. So you can see over here, we've got hundreds of different fonts. Um, we have all kinds. I really like the typewriter font. I think the typewriter font looks really cool. Um, so I, all I have to do is click on it and then I re-click visualize and boom, all of my words are now regenerated looking like they are in the typewriter font. But you don't have to settle for the typewriter. You can look at any one of these other ones that they've got. And they've got them in bold and italics. You just have to click on them and, you know, visualize around and experiment. Now below that, we're going to look at the way that we can lay out the words. So you can lay them all out horizontal like they are right now, making it really easy to read. Or you can try crosswords or horizontal and vertical or any other combination of them. So right now, I'm just going to click on the cross horizontal and vertical. Just try to lay them all out all across the symbol. So now I've got words all over the place. So now the last menu that we can try to play around with is style. Style is where you're going to find the color. So you can kind of see it auto populated with these three other colors. But if I want to change those colors, all I have to go to do is customize. It'll change them around and swap them around. But if I click on these colors, when I click on custom, I can then go over here into the hue select and pick whichever color I want. As soon as I find a color I like, I just hit add and boom, it's going to be in there. Now, if I see these colors that I don't like, all I have to do is click on them and it will automatically remove them from the color palette. So I've removed all of them except for the blue. And I'm going to try to find a couple more that I like, maybe more within that blue dark shade of the family. I can also hit random and see what other colors randomly get generated. 
I don't really like that green though, so I'm gonna take that green out and we're gonna see what it looks like. Not bad, it's got some differences in there. If I hit visualize, it can automatically change the words all around the picture again, and it will also change the color of the words in the picture. I wasn't really a fan of that purple, so now I'm gonna take that out and I'll choose another blue shade, maybe a green, and add it. So after messing around a bunch with all the different buttons and just kind of experimenting with what I like, I tried just a bunch of other different ways to lay out the words, see if that changes it or see if I find something that I like more. So I'm finally going to be okay with sticking with one of these. And after I've visualized and visualized and visualized and I'm okay and happy with the product that I got, now it's time to download that image. So what we do for downloading the image is we're going to download it as a JPEG to the device that you made it on. So up right above in that blue bar that you'll see above the menu, there's a, a button that says download. Click on download, and then you're gonna to wanna to select JPEG. And there, right there on the bottom, you can see it has already downloaded the photo. So now that I've got the photo downloaded, I just have to go back up over to my Google Slides. And on that first slide, where I'm supposed to put the art image, I go to insert, image, upload from my computer, go to my downloads file, find that picture, and bam, there it is, my word art for slide number five. And I'm gonna to wanna to make sure, of course, that I delete that little stand-in picture there. Resize my image a little bit, get it to where I want it to be, and there. I have my fifth slide finished, right, of course, after I change the font and color of the title that's right there in the upper left-hand corner.